Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Kingdom Transformation Network's Morning Prayer. I am your host, Coach Shaitria Jones, your spiritual midwife, helping you to see you as Jesus Christ sees you. Here at Kingdom Transformation, we are the bridge that connects identity, purpose, and destiny. Because when you know who you are, you can passionately pursue purpose. And when you passionately pursue purpose, you can occupy the place called destiny. Here at Kingdom Transformation, self-care is soul care. When you take care of the very depths of your soul, you will live the quality of life that Jesus Christ died for you to live. 3 John 1 and 2 says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou would prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers. And oftentimes we are not prospering in accordance with the words that have been released over us in the Bible because our souls are not in the state that they were designed to be. When sin entered in, brokenness came. With that brokenness um, came um, the consequences that we are often living in. And when we don't take care of those consequences, when we don't um, uproot, tear down, when we don't uh, repair and rebuild, uh, we get results that are contrary to the ways that God uh, wants for us to have. And so we have been in a series titled Royalty. This series is about us really getting to know who we are in Jesus Christ. This series is about us understanding our identity and why it is so important for us to think like royalty, for us to stand like royalty, for us to engage like royalty. It's important for royalty to be a part of our DNA, a part of the very character traits that build us, a part of the character traits that lead us, a part of the character traits that strengthen us. Uh, because as a people of royal stature, we are taking <clears throat> our cue, our leadership directives and directions from God Almighty. He alone is the one that, that we should be reflecting. He is the one who we should uh, be embodying and carrying out his principles carrying out his sovereign word because it is his word that will never return void it is his word that will always accomplish what it was sent forth to accomplish and so we are in uh royalty we are in royalty and this is day 17 of royalty day 17 and so I'm excited to be in this space with you as we celebrate the 17th day of royalty, as we engage as a people who know uh, that we are royal beings. And so we have looked at, you know, this journey of royal discovery. It is a, a, a process where we go uh, from where we are to where God intended for us to be. But it is not an overnight thing. It is something where we have to comprehend who we are. When we begin to comprehend who we are, we will begin to see and engage in the changes that are necessary for us to be effective. So this is a journey. And along the journey, we have to begin to identify us um, as the royal vessel. So we need to understand our royal sight. We need to understand our royal vision. We need to understand our royal natural eyes. And we need to understand how our royal sight center impacts our royal uh, thought center, how our royal eyes impact our royal mind, how what we see, whether it is spiritually, for our future and in the natural realm, how all of that impacts how we think about ourselves, how we think about situations, how we think about our God. Um, day six was all about royal transformation and royal transformation begins in the mind, right? Uh, Romans uh, chapter 12 verses one through two, let us know that. 
Day seven, we looked at having the royal mind of Christ. As Christians, we have the opportunity to put on the mind of Christ in everything we do. Bringing ourselves into the place of royal stability and having royal thought enforcement. Understanding that it is the royal mind that impacts the royal emotions. That we are to have emotions, our emotions aren't to have us. And knowing that it is our royal emotions that impact our royal sound. That there's a sound that is unique, distinct, and, and particular to us. And if we are not aware of that particular sound, we will begin to sound like another. That we have royal speech and we need to have royal speech integrity. And that we need to understand the power of our royal decree. And today is all about how your royal speech impacts your royal attire. How your royal speech impacts your royal attire and our focal scripture comes from Zechariah chapter 3 verse 4 and it reads and he answered and spake unto those that stood before him saying take away the filthy garments from him and unto him he said behold I have caused thine iniquity to pass from thee and I will clothe thee with change of raiment what you speak you wear I'm going to say that again. The words that you speak impact the garments that you wear. Often you hear people say, shame on me. Those people are literally ushering shame to their doorstep so they can put on a garment of shame. You must be mindful of the words that you speak over yourself as well as the words that you are speaking over other people. Just as you can usher the garment of shame onto yourself or another person. The reverse is also true. You can remove the garment of shame from your life or the life of a person. In order to reverse unholy words, you must live a life of repentance. Your verbal repentance grants God permission to change the garments that you wear. Your repentance also helps others to change the garments that they wear. Allow this day to be one where you commune with God, asking him to show you how your speech has impacted your royal attire. God wants you to speak royally so you are adorned royally. No longer will you speak without thinking. God has given you a mind in order for you to use it to advance his kingdom agenda in the earth realm. When you have poor speaking habits and patterns, you adorn yourself poorly and you produce poor results because of what is being drawn to you based on your attire. Isaiah 61 and 3 helps to shed more light on this. The scripture states in the KJV, To appoint them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Please note that you cannot receive a garment of praise unless you open your mouth and praise. It is the praise that you release that will cause a change in your garments that will repel the spirit of heaviness. When you open your mouth and are adorned with the garment of praise, the spirit of heaviness no longer wants to be around you because you are ushering in the presence of God. The enemy does not want to be in the presence of the Lord. So you must be sure that you are constantly speaking royally so that you are repelling anything that will seek to soil your garments and cause you to attract the unroyal to your life. I am going to pray the prayer starter. And then I will pray as the Lord leads. Lord, we thank you for this information on how our speech impacts the garments that we wear. Lord, we admit that we have been speaking royal, excuse me. Lord, we admit that we have not been speaking royally and for that we repent. We have allowed murmuring and complaining to be upon our lips. Therefore, we have worn the garments of disgrace and frustration. Lord, help us to speak royally. Lord, prick our hearts when our speech is contrary to your holy standards. Lord, show us how to be in alignment with your holy royal standards so that we are representing you well to all that we see and to all that see us. Lord, today we want to look more like Jesus. Lord, today we want to sound more like Jesus.
Lord, today we want to be clothed like Jesus. Show us the way, Lord, that we will stand on your word and every promise that you have spoken over our lives. Oh, God. That every evil garment, every garment of shame, every lying garment, <clears throat> every garment of disgrace, every garment of frustration, every garment of doubt, every garment of faithlessness, every garment of barrenness, every garment, oh Father God that has come to lie and wait against our destiny and steal, kill, and destroy. Let it be uprooted this day, O oh Father God. Every garment that is looking to cause us to abort our destiny, to get onto a different path, a path of destruction, O oh God, a path of waywardness, a path of worry, O oh God, let it be obliterated, obliterated. Let every anxious garment, O oh God, uh, let every garment, Let every garment of anxiety that is looking to bind us, O oh God, let those garments fall to the ground in the name of Jesus. On today, O oh God, we are asking that you show us the kind of garments that we have been wearing, O oh God, because of the words that we have been speaking. We are asking in the master name of Jesus that you reveal to us the garments that we have been wearing because of the words that we have been speaking, that we would change what we say, oh God, that we can change what we see. Lord, we thank you that you are the great I am, that you are masterful and you are mighty, and that anything that is looking to come against us, anything that is looking to hover against us, oh God, Lord, anything that is looking to bring us to a barren, frustrated place, oh God, let it be destroyed. Let us be a people, oh Father God, who truly are are really the living epistles read of men who are rightly dividing the word of truth oh god who are engaged in the places and spaces that you have called us to oh god that in any other place oh father god where our words are taking us where they are dividing us where they are adorning us darkly oh god let devastation and destruction ensue that place oh father god let us not be a people of unholy speech let us not be a people oh father god whose tongues devour our destinies oh god but let us be a people who know without a shadow of a doubt how to use Use your word, how to be a people who plant the heavens so we can wear well what you've called us to, oh God. In every place where our um uh, our garments, where our wardrobe is in disarray because of what we have spoken, oh God, we are asking that your peace would come in like a river and rearrange the darkness that has ensued in our lives, oh God. Lord, we are asking that your directives from heaven, oh God, will enter in and bust up any fallow ground, oh God. Lord, we are asking in the master name of Jesus that you would touch us in a new way, oh God. That you would fill us up until we overflow. Lord, that we would be a people who engage gracefully in accordance with your words and in accordance with the peace that you have released over us. Lord, we thank you just for allowing us to have the opportunity to repent and to repel anything that's looking to come against us. And so today we repent, oh God. We repent for the words that we have spoken. Words of doubt and words of unbelief, oh God. We repent in the master name of Jesus for the words that we have spoken that have caused us to be dressed in darkness, oh God. But we want our garments to shine like the noonday sun. We want the light of your kingdom to to uh, adorn us, oh God. We want the light of your kingdom to light our path, oh God. Lord, we want to be a people when people look upon us, oh Holy Father. They see the light of your glory. They see the light of your grace. They see the light of your truth, oh God. They see the peace that is upon us, oh God. And so we are asking in the master name of Jesus that anything and everything that is bringing us to a place where there is no light in us, oh God. Where there is a, a brokenness and, and unbelief, oh God. Let it be destroyed, oh God. We are just asking even now for peace. Peace, 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 oh God. That we will be cloaked in righteousness. That we will be cloaked in wisdom on this morning, oh God. That we would adorn your word around our necks, oh God. That we would adorn mercy and truth about us, oh God. The, the word, when you read the word of God, 
it often tells you that what the kinds of things you're putting on. It says in Proverbs 3 uh, to adorn yourself with mercy and truth. That has to do with the words that you are speaking. When you are, are speaking certain words, you're putting on these garments. If, if we are going to set ourselves up to succeed, we have to know what we are saying. We have to know what we are wearing. We have to know what we are connecting ourselves to by the words that we are speaking. For our words are spirit and they are life. They go out, they take on a body, they look for ways to accomplish things. And, and they're looking for ways to bring back garments of disgrace. They're looking uh, for ways to come against the directions and to bring confusion. Sometimes we're wearing garments of confusion because we are speaking confused words when we are vacillating. Right when we when we are thinking double-minded thoughts and we are saying double-minded words, then we are wearing uh, two different kinds of garments. We're wearing garments of confusion. We are wearing garments of of remorse. We are wearing garments of regret. So so as we enter in today, oh God, we are asking that you reveal to us the kind of garments that we have adorned ourselves with. That you reveal to us, oh God. The kind of garments that we have gotten comfortable with. Lord, we break every snail garment, every slothful garment, oh God. Every garment that makes us slow to respond uh, to your directions, oh God. Every garment that brings us to a place of hesitancy, into a place of staggering, oh God. Lord, we break ourselves out of the slimy, sticky places um, that... that um, being a snail would bring us, oh God. Lord, we break ourselves out of having slow response time to your word, oh God. Slow response time to your directions, oh God. Lord, we break ourselves out today, oh God. And we call ourselves the salt of the earth, oh God. Let the salt dissolve every snail that has manifested itself in our lives, oh God, that has uh, sought to override us, that has sought uh, to bring uh, uh, staggering directions to us, unbelief, doubt, waywardness, oh God. Lord, we are asking in the name of Jesus for those snails to be obliterated, oh God. We will not wear the garments of snails, oh God. We will not slime every place we go. We will not leave a trail of gloominess where we enter in, oh God. Lord, a trail of slime, that signifies the, the darkness, oh God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we break ourselves out of that place, oh God. And we bring ourselves into a peaceful place. We bring ourselves into a righteous place. We bring ourselves into a holy place, oh God. Lord, we are asking you to clean us from head to toe, oh God. We are asking you to remove what is burdening us and, and making us to be born down, oh God. Remove this, the, 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 the shell of the snail from our lives, oh God. Remove it, oh God. And we come against uh, just the snail for ways, oh God. The ways that will lead us on paths that don't prosper us, oh God. The ways that will lead us on paths um, um, that would divert our attention and divide our minds, oh God. We don't want to be a divided people. We don't want to be a people who go in directions that are not beneficial to us, oh God. And no longer will we hide uh, uh, behind the weights that we are bearing, oh God, but we come out of those places in the name of Jesus. We come out of those places in the name of Jesus and we enter into the place of boldness and into the place of courage. We say we will no longer be cloaked under the, the dark robe of fear, in the place of hatred, in the place of instability, in the place of unbelief, oh God, but we come out and we are royally garbed as kings. We will wear the crown that you have given us, oh God. We will wear the royal uh, coat that you have given us, oh God. We will utilize our scepter in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we will have our feet adorned with the shoes that you have given us. We will operate with the signet ring that you have placed upon our hands, oh Father God. 
Lord, we will be a people who embrace the directions and the directives that you have given us, oh God. Any place, oh Father God, where we are missing out on clearly hearing what you are saying to us, where we are missing out, oh Holy Father, on clearly following your words because we are weighed down and we are heavy, oh Father God. We break out today. We are asking for it to be dissolved in the master name of Jesus. Every thick place, we bust through you in the name of Jesus. Every guardian that is looking to guard our gates, that is looking to bring us to a place where we cannot push through, where we are not moving past, where we are not engaging more deeply and more distinctly we even now rush through for our god has caused us to run through a troop that we would even be able to bend a bow of steel with our hands and so every <clears throat> Every guardian that is standing at our gates be destroyed. Every guardian that is standing at our gates be destroyed. Every guardian that is standing at our gates be destroyed. Every guardian that was sent to make us maintain these garments of disgrace, these garments of frustration, these garments of lies, these garments of, of um being unintegral. We curse you in the master name of Jesus and we just lose peace in the name of jesus peace 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 lord we repent for uh, appreciating the garments that we're currently wearing lord we repent for wanting to stay in those garments we repent <clears throat> for wanting to remain in those garments oh father god we repent for wanting to be in that place, oh God. And we are asking in the name of Jesus for new light, for new direction, oh God, for uh, for new peace, oh God, for new assurance, just giving us uh, the, the strength to know that we can have the newness that is ours, oh God, that we can leave the old garments in the past, oh God, that we can put on a new head covering, oh God, that we can put on a new robe, oh God, that it can be clean, that it can be a garment that brings us into the realms that you have assigned for us, oh Father God. And so we say anything that is causing us to come into a place where we are not properly positioned in our territory, oh God, let those garments burn with fire. Let those garments burn with fire in the name of Jesus. Let them be burnt with fire, oh Father God. Cleanse us with hyssop on this morning, oh God. Wash us white as snow. We are asking that your water will wash our minds on this morning, oh God. That, that the water of the word will wash our eyes on this morning, oh God. Let it wash our nostrils on this morning, oh God. Let it wash our ears and our mouths, oh Holy Father. Let it wash our necks, oh Father God. Lord, let it wash our shoulders. Let it wash our backs in the name of Jesus. Let it wash our hands, oh God. Let it wash our chests, oh God. Let it wash our bellies, oh God. Let it wash our feet oh god let it wash us in the name of jesus that we will be clean before you oh god that the garments that we are wearing would be cleansed oh god that it will be a purification and a sanctification that takes place on this morning oh god we are asking for clean hearts oh god we are asking for the refiner's fire and the fuller's soap on this morning oh god lord we are asking for a change we are asking for a distinction we are asking for a different on this morning, oh God. Lord, we are asking for your purifying hand upon us, oh God. Lord, we are asking for you to light upon us. Lord, we are asking for the truth of your word to penetrate and permeate every aspect of who we are, oh God. Lord, we are asking in the name of Jesus just for newness to fall, newness to fall, newness to fall. We break up the heavy place on this morning, oh God. We break up the heavy place on this morning. Everything looking to block our prayers, we destroy you. Everything looking to distort our direction and to bring us into a place where we feel like we are in the very presence of God we disrupt you we even now break your hole and we bring ourselves into a settled place on this morning Lord we thank you that your kingdom comes and your will is done in us oh God as it is in heaven and so we thank you for ushering us into this new place into this new space oh God that your banner that waves over us is peace and righteousness on this day oh God that your banner that waves over us oh father God 
is a settled banner, is a loving banner, O oh Father God. And that as we wrap ourselves in your glory, O oh Father God, we will rise in the newness of the attire that you have given us. Let our attire shine like the noonday sun, O oh God. Let it be like the gold that you have called us to. Let us have a coat of many colors that represents your love um, overshadowing us and your love adorning us and your love positioning us and your love propelling us, O oh Father God. Lord, we thank you that as we wear our crowns, oh God, that we will understand uh, uh, the directions and the information that you have called us to have in this season, oh God, that we would not get our wires crossed. We curse miscommunication in the name of Jesus. We curse the deceptive tactics of the enemy that will look to feed us information that came from hell. We even now say that we will not be a people of unclean lips and we say touch our mouths with a coal from your altar in the name of Jesus. Woe unto us for we are undone, O God. Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus just for holy fire falling and consuming anything, O God, that does not bring glory to your name anything that does not bring us into the place of peace that does not bring us oh father god into the place of joy that does not bring us oh god into the place of settling and so we just bless you on this morning for your word reigning supreme and we just ask in the name of jesus that anything that is holding us back Anything that is gripping us on this morning, let his hands shatter, O oh God. Let his hands break in the name of Jesus. Break his arm, O oh God, and let it be an irreparable break, O oh Father God. Let um, those hands that are touching us, O oh Father God, that are obstructing us, O oh God, that are removing us from the places and spaces that you have us, O oh God, let them never be able to touch us again, O oh God. Lord, we thank you for the angels that are on assignment unto us, and we send them before us. <clears throat> to stand at our futures with flaming fiery swords oh god lord we bless you in the master name of jesus oh god for just setting our path on fire on today oh god <clears throat> that as we walk on this fiery path oh god we would not be confused but we will see the flames blazing oh god we will see the fire and the movement of the fire and we will walk in it oh god we will pursue it and we would engage in it oh god and so we just bless you on this morning for your word reigning supreme we say that every other man be a liar let the enemy of our soul uh, be disgraced, O oh God, and, and let every plot, plan, and scheme of the enemy, O oh God, be destroyed. Lord, we thank you in the master name of Jesus just for new sight on this morning as we engage royally oh father god we thank you for the new sight that you are giving us we thank you uh just for your peace oh god anyone lacking peace i just feel like uh, there is just some unsettled things um in the depths of our soul on this morning so just receive your peace because the kingdom of heaven is not in meat or drink but it is in righteousness peace and joy in the holy ghost so where you have been robbed of peace where things just have not been going the way that you thought that they should or um, the way that you had planned them to go. Receive peace on this morning because God will lead you, guide you, and he will clothe you well so you can have exactly what it is that is yours. And so uh, we just sit in the peace of the Lord on this morning. We sit in the peace of the Lord and we allow it to make a difference. We allow the peace of the Lord to go from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. We allow the peace of God to even impact our atmospheres. We allow it to bring us into a thin place in the spirit realm. We allow it to bring us into a place where we can feel the difference in our atmosphere around us. We allow uh, the peace of God to shift even the temperature in the rooms that we are in. We allow the very peace of God to usher in a new sound on this morning. We allow the peace of God to usher in the very presence of God. We allow there to be a distinction. We feel the distinction. We know that it is evident, oh God. We know that we are a people called by your name. We know, oh Father God, that there are angels that have been released. We know, oh God, that there are angels present and they are working things out on our behalf. We are even now releasing our angels to reclaim some lost items on this morning, oh God. 
We are releasing them uh, uh, to go and retrieve items that have belonged to us that we didn't even know we lost, oh God. And even items that we are looking uh, to be returned to us. So on this morning, we just loose our angels uh, to retrieve. We loose our angels to return. We loose our angels to restore unto us what has been lost. And so we thank you for the restoration on this morning. <clears throat> Lord, we thank you for the peace on this morning. We thank you. <clears throat> Any place where our peace has been tossed to the side, retrieve it for us on this morning in the master name of Jesus. And Lord, we just we just bless you for your grace. We bless you for your mercy. And we bless you for the fullness of your joy. We drink in your joy on this morning, oh God. We drink in your joy on this morning. We open our hearts to be filled with your joy. Sometimes we aren't receiving joy because we are blocking the very place where the joy needs to go. And so we need to we need to engage and just allow <clears throat> the joy of God uh, to be poured into our hearts. We curse the very heart and hearts that we are wearing on this morning, oh God. We curse the heart and hearts that we are wearing on this morning, oh God. And we break up the hardness, oh God. We break up the hardness, oh God. And we say we drink in your joy, oh God. We drink in your peace, oh God. We drink in your righteousness, oh God. We drink in your truth, oh God. We drink it in, in the name of Jesus. And we just wait in it, oh God. We wait in your joy. We wait in your peace, oh God. And we allow it to change us this morning. We allow it to change us this morning. We allow it to change us this morning. Let us be changed on this morning, oh God. Let us be changed. Let us not go into our, our jobs with the, with the mindset of heaviness. Let us not go into our businesses dealing with our children with mindsets of heaviness on this morning. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. We rebuke it, oh God. And we say in the name of Jesus that we are drinking in your joy, oh God. We are drinking in the pleasures that are at your right hand, oh God. We are drinking in the royal standards and the royal statues that you have for us, oh God. We are drinking them in in this moment, oh God. And we will not be poisoned by our experiences. We will not be poisoned, oh God, by the arrows um, that fly by night, oh God, nor for the pestilence that worketh at noonday. We curse it in the name of Jesus and we place ourselves in the place of your peace, oh God. We begin to see ourselves in new garments. We begin to receive the new garments. We begin to rejoice because of the new garments, oh God. We rejoice like a child who gets new clothing. We rejoice for the newness. You know, when children get new clothes at the beginning of the school year, I remember when we would go um, school shopping and we would get really excited because we had uh, new clothes for the new school year. Um, I guess they're wearing uniforms now, but... Um, Get excited about your new clothes, right? Get excited about your new garments. Get excited about it and receive it on this morning so you can walk in it. Because kids would walk different when they had their new, they, they new school clothes on, right? Like, this is the school clothes. These are my plate clothes, but I'm excited about my new school clothes. Lord, we bless you on this morning just for the new garments that we are wearing because we are deciding to speak differently oh god we are deciding to speak over ourselves differently on this morning oh god we are deciding to engage differently oh god and we're deciding to believe you differently on this morning so we thank you for peace we thank you for joy and we thank you for righteousness in the master name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that your word is sure. Let every other man be a liar. Lord, we thank you for your glorious reign. We thank you for the fullness of who you are. And we just thank you 
just for all that you are doing and for what is yet to come. That as we engage today in these declarations, oh God, let us begin to see them being placed on us, oh God. That as we are declaring these things, we will see ourselves clothed in these things. As, as we declare victory over ourselves, we are placing garments of victory on. As we are saying that we believe God, we're putting on um, armors of trust. We're putting on armors of truth that it would chip away at every other garment that we have worn every other thought pattern that we have ever engaged in um when Jesus told Lazarus to come forth, he said, remove the grave clothes from off of him. The grave clothes were an indication of where he was. The reason they needed to be removed because he wasn't dead, he was alive, and therefore he needed to wear garments of a man that was living. Oftentimes, we are uh, we are garbed in grave clothes. We are garbed in, disgra garbed in disgraceful things, and we haven't taken them off in order to enter into where we've been called to. But as we take off those disgraceful garments we have to put on new garments in order um to to uh, enter in acceptably where we need to go so as we say these royal declarations, you need to know that you are garbing yourself with these words. You are putting them on. When you say today I walk in faith, you are putting on faith. When you say I'm full of the fire of God, you are opening yourself up to be set ablaze. When you say your vision is accurate, you are putting on God's vision, his visual perspective. These are not just words that you are saying. You're literally putting on garments. And every time you speak against these words, right? So, so you say today's a day of victory, but then you begin to engage in your day. And you're like, this is the worst day. You have taken off your clothes of victory. You have taken off your garments of victory and you have put on garments of defeat. Your words are powerful. They are spirit and they are life and they will cause you to succeed or to fail they will cause you to embrace the prosperous place that you've been called to or they will call you to repel repel the place that god wants to take you and so as we put on these royal vision declarations today we want to begin to see ourselves garbed this way when you say i stand as a bloodline breaker you are picking up a hammer and you are literally picking up a hammer to break some stuff in your bloodline the word of God says, is not my word like fire and is it not like a hammer to break in pieces the rock of most stubborn resistance? When you stand as a bloodline breaker, you are standing as one who is utilizing the word of God to disrupt what's looking to disrupt you. You are putting on the appropriate attire to do the work that you've been called to. So on this morning, as you declare these declarations, you need to see yourself garbed because these are our pieces of equipment. This is your tactical information that you are utilizing to enter into the places that you've been called to. And so grab your royal vision declarations. If you don't have them, just repeat after me. Today is a day of victory. My vision is set on the heavenlies. And I will advance in accordance with the words that Jesus has declared over me. Today, my vision is clear. Today, my vision is accurate. Today, I walk in faith, full of the fire of God. Today, I partner with the angels that are assigned to my life. Today, I passionately pursue purpose. Today, I occupy the place called destiny. Today, I receive clarity concerning my current assignment. Today, the goodness and mercies of God overtake me. Today, my lips drip with honey as I declare the goodness of God to all that I see. Today, there is a shift in the atmosphere when I walk into the room. Today, I believe 
I am a glory carrier. Today, I believe that I am a difference maker. Today, I stand as a bloodline breaker. Today, I stand as the head and not the tail. Every obstacle in my life that is looking to get me to have the vision of someone that is the tail be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Today, I stand as one who is above only and never beneath. Every obstacle in my life that is looking for me to be beneath only, catch fire and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I sing songs of deliverance over myself in unison with God singing over me. Today, I am loved by God and by myself. Every enemy of my soul that is looking to cause me to feel rejected and abandoned, be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Today, I am more than a conqueror and I cannot fail. As long as I abide in the risen Savior, Jesus Christ. Today, I am led by Holy Spirit, staying in constant communication with my God. Today, I believe that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Today, I believe that the works of God's hands are marvelous in his sight. And since I am the work of God's hands, I am marvelous in his sight. Today, I believe that I am a finisher. I won't quit when things get tough. Every enemy looking to discourage me and cause me to quit, catch fire and die in Jesus' mighty name. Today, I value me because I am one of value. And as I value myself, I can value others. Today, I am free to serve Jesus with every ounce of who I am. Today, I agree with God, walking in the truth of his word, and my soul is well in God's presence. Today, I say no to the plot, plans, and schemes of fear, looking to pervert my destiny. Today, I say no to the powers of hell looking to get me to take back my yes from God. Today I say no to disobedience and strife. I will not be contrary to the plans and ways of God. Today I believe the word of God is quick and powerful that it is sharper than any two-edged sword, that it pierces and divides my soul from my spirit as it is able to divide my joints from my marrow. Today, I believe that the word of God is a discerner of the intents of my heart. And since it knows the intent of my heart, I will speak to God concerning the state and condition of my heart. Today, 
I will not make excuses, but instead I will seek God for every solution. Today, I will be a difference maker. Today, I will stand as a world changer. Today, I believe in the me that God created me to be. Today, I take responsibility for the life that God has entrusted to me. Today, I stand as a victor, overthrowing every altar of the victim, reclaiming every good thing that has been stolen from me. Today, I look destruction in its face and I say, in Jesus' mighty name, you will no longer have your way. Today, I look sabotage in its face and I say, stand down in Jesus' mighty name. Today, I say to sabotage every area of my life that you are looking to destroy, I command repayment sevenfold plus your furniture in Jesus' mighty name. Today, I say to failure, you yourself have failed. I am hidden in Christ Jesus. Therefore, failure is not my portion. Today, I say to failure, every seed that you have planted in my life, that you are looking for a harvest from, catch fire and die. Angels on assignment unto me, drag failure back to its camp where it will be tormented for failing to complete its assignment. Today, I proclaim victory in every area that God has assigned to me. Today, I set my face like a flint before the only one true wise and living God. Today, I trust God. Today, I trust Jesus. Today, I trust Holy Spirit. Today, I am settled in my position as a king in the earth realm, believing that what I speak, I will see. That just as the worlds were framed by the word of God, so too I am framing my world with my words. Today I speak hope over every area of my life that appears hopeless. Today I speak love over every area of my life that seems loveless. Today I speak strength over every area of my life that seems strengthless. Today, I decide that I will not be moved. Today, I decide that my heart is fixed on God. Today, I decide that all is well and I reap the harvest that God has designed for me to reap because I have planted the way God has designed for me to plant in past seasons. Today I stand as a son or daughter of the King, knowing that all creation has been waiting for my manifestation. Therefore, my manifestation will not be delayed. Listen, I pray that this prayer has blessed you, that you will join tomorrow as we talk about royal priestly garments. Bring someone with you. Facebook, if you have a prayer request or a praise report, send it to me. I want to rejoice with you. I want to pray with you. And if you are on the clubhouse, raise your hand and we will engage. But I will see you tomorrow morning, Facebook at the 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye-bye.